Yo, what's up guys? In this quick and easy After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to make this amazing looking golden text effect in After Effects. And yeah, basically we don't need any plugins or whatsoever and it's super simple. So I'd say let's just go right into it. So let's make a new composition, just like that. And I'll just add a solid for a background. And I'll just give it a nice dark blue for a nice contrast to the golden text. And yeah, now first of all, obviously we need a text, so let's just right click in here, go to new and add a text. And I'll just type in golden again. And now we can press S on the keyboard to scale this up real quick and also align it to the center with the align settings right here. And if you can't see them, just go to window and make sure align is checked. And yeah, if you want to copy the font, let's just see how it, uh, what it is. It's elephant, so yeah, if you want to use it, just go for it. And yeah, okay, let's focus on the text effects, which we need for this, yeah, golden effect, and then like the, the layer style and the, the shine, which goes from left to right, as you can see, and also these nice golden, uh, not golden, but um, yeah, what is it called? These star glow effects, basically just the, these shiny things. And yeah, let's go. So first of all, let's make a new layer style. So let's right click on this and go to layer styles. And first of all, we need obviously a gradient overlay to get this golden effect. And as we can see by default, it looks weird. It doesn't look golden. So let's change a few settings. So let's open up the, yeah, the gradient settings here and let's hit edit gradient. And now I will go to a website where we can just find some nice hex codes for the uh, yeah, gold gradient. So let's go in here and here we can just copy them. Otherwise I will just put them in the description so you can copy them as well. So let's take this one, go back, go to our first point, make sure this is selected and just paste it in here. And then let's add another point in the middle by just right clicking here or actually left clicking here. And now we have new point and let's get some lighter value, copy it and just paste it as well. And let's go to the last point and let's just, yeah, copy the first point actually again and put it in the last one just like this. And now we can just hit OK. And yeah, this already looks good. Now we have the, the golden layer style, but actually we also wanted to have these nice little edges if you can see them. So it looks a bit more, yeah, three dimensional and more classy or whatsoever. So let's right click on it again and go to layer styles again and let's add a bevel and emboss effect. And as you can see, it already looks a little bit better, but let's change a few settings. So first of all, let's go to technique and change the technique to, to chisel hard. And as you can see, this already looks good. Now we can just play around with a few settings, but I think by default it's already okay. So maybe we want to decrease the depth a bit because this might be too strong by default. Maybe increase the size depending on how yeah, big you want it to be. But I think this looks good. And yeah, now we're already done with the layer style. This is already cool, but it doesn't move at all or doesn't look animated, so it's still kind of boring. So let's first of all add this nice looking light animation, which just goes from yeah left to right. As you can see, it's shining. And yeah, this is super easy. We just need one effect, which is called the CC light sweep effect. So just look for light sweep and just apply it. And yeah, actually we can't see anything because we made one mistake. Let's delete the text effect again, uh, the light sweep effect. And first of all, let's right click on it and pre-compose this layer because otherwise the layer styles like the gradient will always be on top of everything. And we don't want that because it will, yeah, yeah, may, doesn't make us able to see uh, the light sweep. So pre-compose it and just apply the effect now. And as you can see, we get this nice effect here. And we can just animate the center going from left to right. So let's just go to the beginning of our animation and just bring this to the left a lot, just like this. Put in a keyframe in here, make sure to, to click this. And then just go forward a few seconds, bring it to the right, then go forward a few seconds again, and bring it back, and so on, as you can imagine, just like this. <coughs> and yeah, 
this looks good. Maybe we want to yeah make it a bit stronger whatsoever you say. So you can just play with these settings. Maybe we can increase the width just to 100 or something. Maybe we can increase the intensity. Okay, this is too strong, but you get what I mean. It's just fully up to you how you want to use this. And yeah, I think this already looks really cool. And you may be already satisfied, but maybe you also want to make it a bit cooler even. And this can be done by these yeah, nice glowing effects, which you can see, these yeah, shiny things. And this one is a little bit more complicated, but still super simple. So yeah, let's first of all add a new solid, just like this, and search for the fractal noise effect and just apply it. And yeah, now we have to change a lot of settings, so it looks good. So first of all, let's increase the contrast by a ton, just as much as possible, basically, something like 1000. And let's also bring down the complexity to something like 2. And also decrease the brightness. So we just want basically a few light points, just like this, which we yeah then will use to make the shiny things. And yeah, now let's animate this. So go to the beginning of the animation and put in a keyframe for evolution. Go to the end and just, yeah, yeah, just turn this up a lot. We can just copy the setting, but yeah, just like this. This is cool. And yeah, that's exactly what we want. Now let's uh, select our text layer or the pre-composition actually and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. And yeah, now we can go back to our, yeah, on the, this new layer and just go to track matter. If you can see it here, if you can see it, just press toggle switches. So it will activate. And yeah, now let's just select our composition as a, a basis basically. And yeah, this is good already. Let's also change the mode to add just like this. And yeah, now if we, yeah, don't show our actual pre-composition. We can just see it's these white points going around and this is exactly what we want. So let's just bring this back and now select both of these upper layers, which we will use for this effect and just pre-compose them again, just like this. And uh, actually let's go to pre-composition and change this to add just like this. And yeah, now we just need one more effect basically, which is the cross blur effect. So just look for cross blur and apply this. And now we can increase these radiuses. So we will get these nice stretched out points basically. And yeah, now we have these little shiny effects. And as you may see, it's not that strong and not that present. So maybe we should duplicate this layer a few times. Oh no, it's going to crash. Oh no, it's not. Okay, perfect. So if you want it to be stronger, just press Ctrl D so you get a few more ones. And now if you just play this animation, you can see it looks amazing, super interesting and not so boring. And yeah, that's exactly what we want. I really hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time.